I'm going to entitle this video First Time Rats Are Ever Freed. Would you like to uh, tell the story on the on the video right now? Okay, so I have four rats at my at my home, and I wanted to get one more rat. I wanted to get one. So we went to the pet store, but see, there well, were only two. I have to ask you something. Do you want to be on camera, or me to just talk? Okay. Uh, uh, um. Yeah. There were, there were only two, so that, of course, means that I had to get both of them because I couldn't just leave one of them. So that's pretty... I don't know. I, that, that's not me. I wouldn't do that. So that one's Huey, and that one's Rocky. Mm. See, this one has spent the entire time that they could be out and spend it just kind of like exploring the bottom of the cage. I don't think he realized that this part of the cage existed until about like five minutes ago. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to show it on camera now because that's what a five-year-old would do. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like their little hands. Oh, come here. You see him in the back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. What did he do? He's these, bruxing, that's sweet. These guys were uh, caged up in PetSmart and like a shoebox size glass something like plastic something cage or whatever. Oh, you little boy. Oh my gosh, look how tiny. Am I getting <laughs> hit on? Yeah. Yeah, no, that, I can honestly say I'm not really familiar with rats, but they're pretty. Dude, this isn't even a rat. This is still a mouse. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's not what a mouse is, is it? Of course, you didn't know that. Is a mouse really a young rat? <laughs> no. Oh, I was like, what? Okay. I think they're just called young rats. But yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, they're so cute. That's his rap name. Is young rat. See, the, the difference between rats and mice are, mice are what lives in your vent if you live in the city. Rats are what live in your vent if you live in the country. Yeah, That's well, my rats experience. also live in your, like, sewer and toilet and all that when you live in the city. Dude, it's so cool. It's so cool to watch them go free for the first time. Yeah. Look, man, they're like, I think they're pretty uh, into it. And they know that we're pretty cool by now, cause like we've petted them like softly, and they they haven't like bitten us or anything. And they don't really bite unless like you have food on your hands. Yeah, for sure. Cause they're not they don't have like really good vision or anything. Um, so they use their other senses. So if they think you're food, they're probably gonna try to bite you. Yeah, that that Netflix documentary rats like try to make them out to be a villain, but as you can see right yeah. now. They're not really villainous. They're just like they're curious and like yeah. they're 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 well, chill. I mean, like there's ones that are not like this. These are like bred to be pets. But then there's <laughs> ones that are kind of like vicious, just like how there's like cats out in the wild that are like feral. Dude, these aren't like guinea pigs that are gonna just straight up bite you. Yeah, no, guinea pigs are just assholes. They're not very smart, so like they think anything's a threat. I don't know, man. I wouldn't I, I don't I don't want to call them that. I mean, they're just. I a had different... one when I was a kid, and it scarred me for life. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, but consider this: maybe they're the type of animal you shouldn't be trying to put in a cage and pet. Well, you, yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, they're also the kind of pet that you shouldn't let your two-year-old pet alone. True, but is that really the guinea pig's fault? No. I know. I'm man. not saying it's the guinea pig's fault. It's not their fault that God made them the way that they are. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I agree. Hey, eat this. I'm so glad I bought that. It's cute. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Whoa, right. Whoa. Whoa. Where's the other guy? Oh, there, there he is. is. Whoa. <laughs> Bouncing around and everything. <laughs> you can, like, tickle them on the sides. Tickle, tickle. Sometimes they like it, sometimes they do not. Just depends on the You're on camera now. Smile. 
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I can't smile. I'm probably getting on people's nerves rocking the screen. I, I'm just surprised that they haven't explored more of the room so far. Well, that's because we're literally oh, sitting, right. like, blocking where they could, could we explore the rest of the room. Tonight on ABC 2020, we send <laughs> a mechanical robot drone out to spy on rats free for the first time. They seem oddly unthreatened. By the mechanical drone. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. It's actually encouraging them to leave the, the space. That's because they hate the light. It's like a bright light. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's kind of like it's kind of like saying like, "Come on, man, explore." Hey, let me like take this igloo out and see what they do with it. It's okay, buddy. They probably feel a little insulted right now because we're just like moving in on them. They probably feel insulted. You don't think so? They, they are happy. They're pretty grateful. Hello! That's what I hear. Oh. oh, they're both over here. Hey, what would you call a cross between a rat and an acro rat? Would it be an acro rat? Or it'd be a rat cravat? I yeah, think that sounds better. They kind of are acro rat. Rat so cravat. Look at, their, look at their playground. Yeah, they'll climb like upside down. It's pretty cool. But I want to see if I can get him to eat. Is that a treat? It's just a food. It's like a dried carrot. Chef Poyardee. <laughs> Chef Poyardee, there's too many rats in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. No? You hungry? Yeah, so this is Huey, right? Yeah, he's, Huey, he has Louie. a darker tail. And then, ooh, look at that! There you go. That's so cute. We've got, we've got some cool stuff going on. <laughs> look at that, actually. That wrecked suit. That was not a good work. That's pretty awesome. Oh, baby. Look at the little hands. Maybe if I down the brightness some. Um, Hello, baby. Oh. Except he can't get past that, like, ledge. <laughs> he doesn't know. Oh, now we have action. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, he figured it out! He's too smart! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh. Look at him. <laughs> He's holding on to it. That, That's the little one, right? Yeah. Rocky. What's he doing? Dude, I think he's just be doing his nature. Maybe that's his way of checking out the cage. Yeah. Humans would be like, be practical. Check it out from the inside. But rats are like, no, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to crawl around the outside to check it out. Because yeah. he didn't even leave the top he's floor. Little, uh, <laughs> Pretty sure. And that's a nice way of labeling it. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's from Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh yeah, I'm mistaken. I like that show. Ocular pat down. Yeah. We've probably oh, talked. Look, he's got little... <laughs> yeah. Cute. That's the first time he's done that. Well, so now he's done. <laughs> you know what though? I bet that reminds him too much of his cage. He's like, no, forget no, that. No, they like they like being enclosed though. Like they do enjoy that. They're rodents after all. They usually live in the ground. I don't know. I think they're way more happier right now. Cause check this dude out. He's done climb to the top of the roof. He's skyscraping exhibitionist. Yeah, when they want to be comfortable, they kind of like they like to be claustrophobic. Yeah, that's man. why they cuddle. Like it's in their nature to cuddle. They think that's sweet. Oh, this dude just come up and touched me and then ran off <laughs> while I wasn't looking. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, bless you. He's a baby. He's so soft. Man, this is real Hollywood magic. You you should rather watch this than watch the movies. Yeah, no. Real. This is like real. I watched awesome. this Netflix original series. Yeah, dude, just think about like this is their first time free after being like caged up like for their entire life, pretty much. Mm. And they're well fed 
and they're hydrated. And uh, we make our own documentary on Netflix. Is that another? Oh, one you want to make more episodes? Yeah, totally. Are you sure this isn't just a cheap sellout way to get views? <laughs> I don't know. It's um, your no, channel. I'm no, I'm kidding though. But like, this movie is cool to document though, because I like I like YouTube. So. Uh... Will you do? Man, what do you think he feels about that? He's so cute. Aww. Whoa. <laughs> what a good boy. What a good boy. I feel like I don't have their respect enough yet to try and do that. Their respect. I want to see if he'll go on the shoulder like my other ones. Maybe too little right now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh no. Did he just poop? Oh, that's fun. I think. Yeah. I think that you scared him because you picked him up too high. That's gotta be well, scary. He's also too. had like a poop coming out of his butt for like the past half hour. Oh like, man. Pretty, this, is the, the this is the part where we got in the video. <laughs> There's other things to do. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> Good point. Alright, goodbye.